Hey everybody, 3D Icicle Freeze here. In the last episode, we pretty much went ahead and we defeated the Striathan Gym and got our second member, Muna, which I have yet to name. In this episode, we're pretty much going to be going ahead to Route 3 in order to eh, pretty much advance in the story and get to the second gym. Anyway, uh, you cannot get past here unless you um, take on the first gym, of course. There will be uh, an old man and he's going to be like, No, you can't! Come past here, because I'm so old, I don't feel like moving! Nah, he doesn't really say that. He's actually over here, because he migrated. He said, the scientist Fennel was looking for you a while ago, and here he is again to remind me that I can't go past here. So he lets me go into this little garden, but he doesn't let me go any further. Anyway, uh, you have these really cool, like, hedge sculptures. One of Pikachu, I would imagine that's Pete of. Uh, let's see if I can find something else. I think they're just Pikachu and Pita, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so let's go talk to Fennel. Oh, uh, now I know what I gotta do. This part is, well, let's just say it's just a little disappointing for right now, but you'll, you'll see why. Anyway, let's talk to Fennel. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect files of, of various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token, I will give you the Sea Gear. The Sea Gear is a device related to communication, such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Hurry! No, I'm kidding. Jake obtained the Sea Gear. I don't know why it was by her computer. Anyway, it says, please turn Sea Gear off in places such as airplanes and hospitals, where wireless communications are prohibited. So we're going to turn it off, not that I am in a hospital or an airplane, but, um... It's basically useless, and the reason for that, I'm actually going to explain now. Because first she talks about game sync. I'd like to explain a little more. Do you have time to learn more? I really don't have the time. I'm sorry. I'm so happy, so I will explain about it. Thanks for giving me the option. But thanks to you, we could do a great thing. Now game sync can retrieve memories of sleeping Pokemon using Dream Mist. That's right. We can collect save files of trainers from all over the world. Anyway, she's getting all excited over something that I hate to say, it, but it really doesn't matter. Um, that her friend comes over and she will give you the pal pad. Or is that the pal pad? Yep, it's still called the pal pad. Great. You can register your friends and you can connect over Wi Fi. That's where the really upsetting part comes in. Okay, so why are these two items useless that uh, Fennel and Amanita just gave us? They're useless because Nintendo Wi Fi over the DS no longer exists. The reason this is really disappointing is because this game was made in 2011 and Nintendo Wi-Fi ended, well, to be fair, I think pretty quickly after that. Um, I hate to say it, but the Sea Gear is almost 100% useless um, without Wi-Fi, and because Wi-Fi no longer exists for the Nintendo DS, it's really not anything special. I like that it gives you the time and it shows you your battery life, but I hate to say it, that's actually all I use it for. The only rare occasion I use it for is for trading with my friends, and again, <clears throat> it's easier for us to train at each other's, at, you know, it would have been easier to trade each other while we're each at each other's, you know, I'm at my house and my friend's at his house, but that no longer exists, so now it's really only necessary when you're at the same house, which you could do anyway. Um, you know, which you could have done in previous Pokemon establishments, you just needed a wire. So, I hate to say it, but, um, the Sea Gear is really, like, disappointing. But anyway, we have the Daycare Lady, basically, you leave your Pokemon here, she trains them up, it goes by steps, so you cannot just leave your game on, you actually have to be moving around. Anyway, uh, if you come here, I do want to make note, because I find this very useful, is that there's this woman here, and she will heal your Pokemon. Very nice. So anyway, though, um, <clears throat> because we have a lot of battles to do, uh, I figured I would kind of talk about more of... <clears throat> excuse me, I have like I have like a tickle in my throat. I figured instead of just skipping all these battles, because, you know, what's the fun in just skipping all that? Especially because I know that in this video or next video, or basically sometime soon, uh, one of my Pokemon will more than likely be evolving, and I'm sure you already know which one. Anyway, um... Yeah, I was thinking about it, and, you know, I didn't really want to talk about the gameplay, because, you know, Pokemon gets very repetitive, and that you're battling a lot of the same Pokemon, you're battling a lot of, you know, Pokemon that have moves you've already seen, 
And you're also using Pokemon that you've used often, which obviously is your team. So it's like, you know, you're kind of... You're not getting that much variety until, of course, they evolve. <clears throat> so I figured I kind of wanted to talk about myself a little bit because uh, I think there were some interesting things that um, should probably be noted. And uh, I guess I kind of feel like talking about it. I feel like talking about myself today. Um... Yeah, you know, I was thinking, because I'm always asking you guys, I'm always like, hey, so what are you guys up to? And then I just say, oh yeah, I've just been doing blah blah blah. And I don't really talk about what I'm doing, and I I think I should talk about like some of the interests and things I have, because I feel like that would help you guys know me a lot better. Um, so yeah, so I think that would, you know, that was like an idea I came up with. Like, I think in this video I should kind of just talk about me. It's all about me in this video. <clears throat> well, not necessarily. In fact, I really actually wanted to talk about a lot of things that I wondered if you guys ever, like, thought about. And, like, I'm really hoping you guys comment and, you know, write it down so I can see it or else I'll never really know. And believe me when I say I do read the comments. It's, I mean, of course, you know, sometimes I can't get to all of them, even though I don't even have that many subscribers. But, I mean, it's still, like, sometimes I'm busy and I don't get to all of them. But I mean, either way, for the most part, I do look at them, so I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. <clears throat> you know, I just... Like, recently... Well, first of all, here's a great thing, because actually, I'm in front of my Wii U right now. Um, I'm in my basement recording, because it's actually 11.35 at night, and, uh... Actually, at night, I have the most energy. And, um... I thought this was a great idea because I am so short on videos. In fact, this video that I'm recording right now is the video that I have to post. So you can obviously tell I'm like losing. I'm, you know, I'm very low on recording right now. Um, but yeah, no, I um, I figured I would just go away from the gameplay a little bit. So again, me mentioning that I'm in my basement right now. I'm sweating. It's 75 degrees. Although I put my thermometer to. I think 60 or 59 <clears throat> although it clearly hasn't changed but yeah I'm actually sweating right now and I hate it because I don't know about you guys but like I just like hate sweating like it just feels embarrassing like I like sweating in terms of going to the gym which actually I haven't done that in a while but you guys know what I mean like it's just I hate like sweating like it's just embarrassing and in fact a lot of times in high school um, I sweat a lot, and it was just, it felt really embarrassing, and I just hated it. And then, uh, I was a big guy in 10th grade, so I used to, there used to be, like, sweat stains on my shirt, and I just freaking hated it so much, it was really annoying. Um, and, like, it, it was just, you know, it's just, like, one of those things, like, it's just really embarrassing. So, anyway, I'm down here, I'm doing that, and I'm sweating, but I love recording, of course, so, you know, no big, no big deal there. Um... <clears throat> So, another reason I'm in my basement, um, again, yes, I'm up really late. I don't know if you guys know, but, um, all my friends know, and I feel like my viewers are, like, good friends to me, so I'd like to share with you guys. Like, I'm, like, I don't go to bed until, like, 4 in the morning, and then I don't get up until, like, 4 in the afternoon. <laughs> like, I, I sleep, like, really late, and... Although that may sound, like, cool or whatever, or that may sound, like, good, because I'm getting a lot of sleep, it's really not, because I feel like my whole day is missed out on, and I actually really hate it a lot. Um, and actually, I think a lot of that uh, results into my work. I work at a local Kohl's, Kohl's, excuse me, near my house, and I close, and I end at, like, 12 in the morning, so I'm working until 12 in the morning, usually starting around, like, 7-ish or 6, and it's like, damn, like, I'm just, I don't calm down until, like, 4 in the morning, and I'm just up just playing video games, it's like, jeez, so, that's, like, me that's been, like, messing up my internal clock, but what I'm happy about is, School's gonna be starting, and I'm gonna have to tell them that I either have to leave or take, like, only one day a week. You know, something really small. But, uh, yeah, no, it, um, I really like being up at night. It's like, I like, I like, I, <laughs> well, after I just explained for two minutes of how I don't like being up at night. Now, out of all serious, now, serious this, though, excuse me, but I can't talk tonight. Um, I do like being up at night. I do. But it's just such a bad habit. It's like, you know, I really got to break it at some point. So, you know, so there's that. Um, 
something really cool too is uh, actually for like new games I've gotten um, on the Wii U. Uh, well, first of all, this is amazing. I might as well go into the backstory of it. I had just been telling my friends, oh wow, how cool would it be if DK64 was on the Virtual Console on the Wii U? And sure enough, it is. And so I bought it. And um, I just thought that was so cool because I was literally talking about the game. And, you know, I was just baffled. I was like, wow, I can get this game. And then I just got my paycheck and I was like, damn, I can get it. So I bought it. And I have to say, I really like the game a lot. Like, it's a really fun game. And it just... And I was thinking about it. Like, they really don't make platformers anymore. And it's actually, like, really, like, upsetting. Because I still totally love platformers. And maybe it's just because it's the generation I grew up in. But I don't know. Like, I love platformers still. I love all those goofy graphics and the classic graphics still. Like, I love it all. Like, none of it... None of it phases me. Like, I like it that much like I just think it's really cool so um, yeah you know that's just something that I thought was really cool cuz you know I feel like this generation really doesn't have the luxury that my generation have had and I like how I'm talking like I'm an old-timer I'm 18 but I mean you know my first Pokemon was Pokemon uh, blue yeah it wasn't red it was blue you know my first Mario game was Super Mario Bros um, Three, which you know, I know it doesn't sound old, but it technically is very old now. Um, you know, all old stuff. Spyro was very old. I played Spyro: Legend of the Dragon. That game was awesome. Uh, we had to like find these eggs and stuff. And platformers were just so much fun. You know, it really sucks. Like I, uh, you know, Banjo Kazooie. There's a great one. I love that one. It's so goofy. The music's goofy, and heck, you guys know because I made a let's play of it that did not turn out as well as I wanted it to. But yeah, that's another good example. Like I like that game a lot. So, but anyway, going away from DK64, which again is a very fun game, and I can recommend if you do like platformers. Um, I actually also saw two other games that caught my eye. Um. Earthbound Beginnings, which I thought that was really cool. Um, and then Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. All my friends really like Fire Emblem. We never really talk about it, but when we do, it's like interesting, t you know, conversation, and they like it a lot. And um, I have to say, I really, really like the game a lot. I think it's a really cool game, honestly. But, um, you know, I think that's enough for this uh, episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually just going to transition it like that. I'm going to end it off here. But, um, but yeah, no, so anyway, but before I end it off, I should just say, Earthbound Beginnings, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, and DK64 are all great games. Anyway, uh, though, guys, I think, yeah, it is a good time to end it off. Uh, I know we didn't get that much progress done, but I figured, hey, why not, you know? I want to make these videos a little shorter and more entertaining, so I figured this would be a good thing to do. So anyway, um... I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to be uh, continuing down Route 3. I will see you guys next time.